So I just purchased and installed this uh, Rostec VCDS software and I'm scanning this 2010 Audi Q5. I just set up the software so I'm learning as I'm going here. I'm wirelessly connected to it right now and I'm doing a network code scan right now and it's at about 19%. Interesting. It is Wi-Fi connected to the car, not Bluetooth. Uh, the only problem with that is that I can see is that you can't be connected to the internet at the same time because it doesn't have its own, it uses uh, the web browser. In this case I'm using Chrome. But we'll see. See how this works. So I ended up installing this VCDS software on my Veris Edge and uh, so far it's at about 48% progress doing a network scan here uh, wirelessly to the vehicle no codes in the engine yay no codes in the transmission one code in the no codes in the ABS one code in the uh, accessory start authority uh, probably low battery voltage or something I have to look what that one is one fault code in the central control module for central convenience no signal communication Three faults, supply voltage for LED module, that's from me having the headlight out. Uh, control circuit for the right low beam, rain and light recognition sensor. They just put a windshield in it so they likely had that rain sensor unplugged. No faults in the park assist. No faults in the airbag. No faults in the steering wheel controls, the instruments. And we're still going. It's about 57%. We'll pick up when it's finished. So it's finished doing the network scan. That took quite a while. I would say a good 3-4 minutes. And there are a couple of codes. One for the right headlight adjuster. I had the headlight out of it and disconnected. So one in the central locking system for an implausible signal from the central lock. But anyways, uh, otherwise everything's good. Let's save this. Can't check. Say, uh, okay, saved automatically by a name. And I see if you're on, if you're wirelessly connected to the the uh, VCM underneath the dash, then you can't be on the internet at the same time. So let's go to the very bottom here and done. Go back. Doesn't look like it gives you an option. Common installed chassis. There's got to be a way to do a network code clear. I'll have to look at this. So I'm connected via the USB cable to the uh, diagnostic interface, and I've done a network scan here, and it shows the modules in red that have fault codes. Most of those are related to. Uh, low battery voltage because the vehicle's been battery's been disconnected and such let's save a copy of that uh, I don't know the plate number I'm just gonna put 99999 for now okay There's quite a few lines of data there. Just crazy. So I found out where the uh, test for the air injection pump is. It seems like the other scanners were trying to do it, but they didn't give you the information required. I'm going to set it up to show you how to do that test with VCDS. So go into engine and the basic settings and there should be a list of tests that can be run and way down the bottom here is secondary air injection system. Now when I click go here it says operate the brake pedal and depress the accelerator pedal. So step on the brake and put the gas pedal right to the floor. 
and it says hold it there at that point. Now the air pump is running, I can hear it. So this takes about five minutes and it's gonna run through the test. I've already done it and run in passes. So the other scanners probably would have done it. I just didn't know that you're supposed to hold the brake pedal and the gas pedal to the floor. It doesn't say that on the other scanner. So I think I found the uh, command to uh, clear all codes, CAN based cars only, which would be this one, erase all DTCs. Uh, controller channel map, history data, email today's debug files. Wow, I'm going to have to do some learning here for sure. Let's erase. Should be erased only once the proper repairs have been carried out. Yes, erase. Not sure how long this is going to take. It is 2.45. That's it? Wow, that was quick. Done, go back. I'm going to try another auto scan. And for cars with CAN bus, use the auto detect. Okay, start. We'll see how long this takes. fairly quick. You can see the status bar coming up here at the top when it in between computers. It's about 30 percent. Now it's about 60 percent. Now this of course will reset the maintenance uh, reminders or readiness monitors. So it'll have to go through at least two drive cycles again, but that's beside the point. It's fairly quick. Seems quicker. I'm uh, connected with the USB cable to the vehicle now. So it seems quicker this way than it is to uh, go wireless. And I noticed when I was wireless, it attempts to go on the internet to check the calibration files and it says it can't get the files. That could be something with my setup. That's fairly quick. So there is a list of all the controllers. And no nothing in red so nothing no codes to report so the network code clear did work cool but definitely a learning curve here I gotta learn this software so we're gonna see if the uh, snap-on software will actually run that secondary air injection test now that I know the proper procedure I'm gonna go into engine management continue into functional tests and the special functions. Now this is the only test that's there is the secondary air injection test with the VCAS software there there had to be another 2530 bi-directional tests so when I click this button it's going to expect me to know that I have to step on the brake pedal and the gas pedal right to the floor it'll ramp up the RPM about to 1200 and it'll run the air pump basic setting routine running I'm stepping on the gas pedal I got it right to the floor and it's at 1500 rpm you can hear the air pump running now and the test runs with zero instructions on the screen here for about a minute then you'll hear the air pump turn off and then it'll give us the test results pass or fail Pump 
pump still running. Pump still running. Pump just shut off. And should be right about now. Basic setting routine finished correctly. Continue. Continue. So, it will do it, but with no help to instruct you on what to do specifically, uh, it appears it doesn't work. <laughs>